Hey everybody, I'm Victoria Valentine on Facebook, and you can also find me at Miss Valentine Cosplay. Um, we are at Omni Expo. Uh, First time here. Same. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everyone, I uh, uh, Frey Lou as well. She's like, this is my first uh, Omni Expo. That's good. Thank God. Oh, this is a very good experience. Um, I'm gonna put her links in the description. So if you guys don't know what she's saying for some reason, I don't yeah. know why, but she has a great voice. Well, I, I tend to mumble a lot. Okay. So. Well, then there you go. <laughs> There's your excuse. Look at the description below. Find her stuff and follow her. Sub follow. What's Instagram? Follow. Follows Instagram. Following. Yeah. Follow, follow, subscribe, like, I like. don't know. Do you have a Facebook page? Yeah. Uh, do this. Do this so I can put it right. Yeah. So hold it right there, and there it is. <laughs> Subs follow and like. There follow, you go. like, okay. subscribe, doesn't matter. And let me push it away. <laughs> All right. I don't know if I'm going to do that move. I'll, I'll probably not do it. Just like do this and have it s sit here still, like over yeah, your face. Just <laughs> in this general area. All right. So what I wanted to ask you, and I just want to make this kind of more of a conversation let's we'll take it from you know we'll just let it snowball mm -hmm. but cosplaying yes because obviously you do it well for people that want to get into it okay it's how do where is a good place to start and if that's too vague I can narrow it a down. good place to start it's, it's really difficult with cosplay because um, you know there is a lot of a very tense environment for cosplay sometimes because it's kind of like you get compared to others mm -hmm. and you know you want to try to be the best and if you're not the best then you're gonna get made fun of yada yada so and so forth but my my general view about cosplay is is do it for fun do what you love mm -hmm. if you're not good at it so what you're still here for, you're still, you're still, you're still out there you're still out there you're Absolutely. still making friends you're still finding cool stuff in the dealer's hall you know yeah I just yeah I just spent yeah, a lot of but, money. <laughs> a buttload of stuff today. So you're going to find stuff in the dealer's hall. Trust me on that. But it's a great experience. And yeah. what about Omni Expo? It's your first time here. It's my first time here, but I have also been to this hotel before. Okay. Um, For I a Sunday, here, even. This is the last day. This is the last day. So but what do you I've, think? I've, I've been here before. Mm -hmm. um, for Spooky Empire last okay. year because I met Melissa McBride, uh, the person who plays Carol on The Walking Dead. Okay. This is where Spooky Empire was held. Um, so far, like honestly, obviously it's a Sunday so there's less people, mm -hmm. but I've liked it. I've liked it a lot. They just picked a good hotel for it. The so, location is key to yes, everything. Yes, yes, especially since they have TGI Fridays right there. That's, yeah, TGI. Uh, um, no to that Golden Corral. Really? <laughs> Don't. I went there, and I thought, how much do you think Golden Corral is? How much? Buffet. I don't know. Seven bucks to pay. For Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it is not seven dollars. I paid sixteen dollars. Oh, for Golden Corral. That's because it's on iDrive. Ridiculous. Okay. You can go to you can go to McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. I mean McDonald's, the cheapest place to eat ever, and you'll pay five dollars for it. a dollar uh, yeah. burger. It's yep. just because oh, it's here, in this area. Oh, here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. So. Yeah. I did have some rodeo burgers though at Burger King, which I can't. The rodeo burgers is just like with the uh, onion rings, the fried onion rings on the burger. Good. It's like a dollar, and they're fantastic. You just need to get barbecue sauce because they don't they put like one squeeze. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Back to this, Omni Expo, <laughs> I liked it. I was out here all three days. It was very cozy. It was. Cozy. Uh, I really like the area where they have the fountain. With yes. all the, especially yes. since, with this weather, since yeah. it's been like really, really windy and not too hot, you know, I was sitting out outside for a good majority of the day. Good. And uh, on the tables out That's there, nice. they got a really nice patio. You're not got sweating really nice bullets. Pool. Exactly, and the fountain. The fountain's really nice for pictures. That was too. nice. Yeah, it was good. That that little area was the the spot. I got um, this uh, Rapunzel. She wasn't Rapunzel um, then. Uh, she was in a different cosplay. I posted it on my Instagram, but she was in the other area. They closed that off because they were painting and stuff. But that yeah. was another nice little area. It had like a yeah. little tree on it. But yeah. Yeah, this I, was definitely good. I did good. notice that they that they closed off a lot of areas this time, though. A lot of caution tape, so it's kind of like, yeah. where do I go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were like pressure washing, and then they painted the whole thing, which is weird to do at this time. Yeah. Like when everything's going on, this is the time you're doing it. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, I guess it. I don't know. I think it could have waited, but then again, I'm not in that business. So let's say that we have, because I want to go back to cosplay because just. 
this is a perfect it's time to ask you yeah, <laughs> about things. You have the you have what you want to do. Okay. How do you execute it? What Research. materials? Research. Yeah. A lot, Where? a lot of research. Where do you go? Oh boy. I got okay. Tumblr before and YouTube. I'm a Google fanatic. If I don't know what to, what what to look for, yeah. I just Google it on Google Images and then, you know, look down on the results. Like say take for instance, um as soon as the Suicide Squad trailer came out. Yeah. And I was like, okay, that's it. I'm doing Harley. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I just Googled Suicide Squad Harley Quinn. And I just literally, if you can't find good reference photos, go to Google Images, go to like different sites, and you'll be surprised what you can find, like underground websites where it'll be just like behind the scenes footage. And I'm just like, okay, well, you know, here's a good reference of the back of her jacket, but now it's kind of just like, you know, out there yeah. already. But. Now, when you look and let's say you go to those websites and you find how the person looks, do you try to buy the actual product? No. Okay. You'd be surprised if, okay. Like I'm talking about, you know, jeans. Like she, if someone, if a guy's wearing like black jeans, what would you do for, like, would you go out and buy those, a specific type? Like, is there a- Not a specific brand. Anything that is screen accurate, you'd be surprised what you can find. You can go to like Goodwill or something and then like alter Perfect. it. This is what I want to hear, yeah. You can alter it. Say, take for instance, you have like a pair of black jeans with white stripes down them. Yeah. Would you rather buy the exact same pair on eBay for 30 bucks or just go to Goodwill, get a back black pair of pants and then just put a stripe on it? Absolutely. I don't know, you know? So it's, that right there, I mean yeah. that for a lot of people, I don't have the money, that's a perfect thing. Yeah. Goodwill. It's 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 different though because I mean if you have the money and yeah. you're you're free you're sure. free to do whatever you want. If you want to buy those exact pair of pants and not, you know, put forth the work. Yeah. Go absolutely. ahead, buy those pair of pants. But if you're on a budget like me. Is there a certain type of like material that you use or like how did how did you what? do this? Uh, that's what this I want to know linen. too. This is actually linen. And okay. um Oh please. These, oh, you can't see them. I know. <laughs> this is linen. And um, I have tons of patterns in my closet. Um, and I just sew the pleat on. And same thing with this. I got a kind of like, I don't know what kind of pattern it is. <laughs> but basically like a jacket pattern. And then I cut the bottom half off the pattern. So I was able to do this. This corset was ordered off of Amazon. And it had like um, black ribbon on the top. So like, I just tore okay, the seams okay. off. I tore the seams off, and then I ended up putting the lace, and yeah, that's about it. The lace you did yourself? Yes, I sewed the lace on on the inside. So. And, and this is what? <laughs> the choker. My dad had this printed, actually. Um, what? Yeah. You'd be surprised. Okay, my okay. dad. My I dad actually this. helps a lot with my cost lace. This I bought. Okay, I found this on Etsy, and then this okay, is actually cool. like um, printed fabric. That's wicked. That so, is too cool. And it's got so like, uh, for the people that don't have a dad that helps out, how would oh. one come across something like this? Like, does your dad do that professionally for other people? He does three D printing. He does painting for. Do you anyway. want to plug him into this? Sure. I'll put his thing right here. Link in the description My as well. My dad's channel is so Robert Oren. He does a lot of uh, game reviews. He paints miniatures. He helps for charity. Usually uh, every Saturday we do um, board gaming tournaments. Didn't you tell me this? I yeah. think you did. Yeah. That's so awesome. That's so, yeah, that's great. But so. Very cool. And then this. This wig. Um, like she, she's just like, this is my real hair. This, <laughs> You know I was born. Looks with good. I actually have hair all the way down to my chest right here. And in order to put it up in the wig, I have to like wrap it around my hair like my head like five times yeah. and put like three wig caps on. But this is actually just, you know Don't do what I say, okay? But I got this off of eBay. This wig I got off of eBay. You'd be surprised like if you can if you find a um a good wig on eBay or something like that, and it'll come in really crappy. I just got lucky Re with this one. Really? Yes. Okay. Usually what is pictured on eBay, it's kind of just like, oh, I'm going to buy this pink ponytail wig and there's a picture on it. It's going to come in like really shiny. Not the, pink ponytail, Not the <laughs> pink ponytail wig for a fact. It's going to come in shiny. It's going to come in too thin, you know, really low quality. Wow. It's a hit or a miss with what, eBay. What's a good for the people out there that, you know, it's like, Arda. oh, I've never. Okay. For wigs. I would definitely suggest Arda wigs and Lucille wigs. Okay. And I can send you the links so you can put them in the description yeah. if you want. Absolutely. Um, 
That's cool. But yeah, I'm just you I, lucked out on eBay. I do a lot, times, a lot of times. A lot of a lot of people probably a lot of cosplayers that watch this are gonna be like, damn, damn it. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of times I just take the risk and I'm just like, okay, all sure. I need is a brown a brown bob wig. So I'm just like, I'll try eBay. This is time. it because I've never returned something via eBay? Is it a hassle? Is it too much of a hassle to try once or twice and you're starting out? You'd be surprised because with the China sellers, the Hong Kong yeah, kind of people, they're really they're very humble. Okay. Okay. So say take for instance, I'm I'm like not very uh, happy with the quality. Yeah. You can before you go and you hit like the the rating and yes. give them yes, a one correct. star negative and stuff like that. You talk. You to can them. talk to them and then just be like, listen, you know, this isn't what was pictured. Mm -hmm. It's a really low quality, and they'll either you know give you the money to ship it back and then they'll refund you fully, or they will actually refund you fully altogether and let you keep it. That's fantastic. So I've actually looked at a lot of that stuff. So. That's very cool. Yeah. Or they'll send you another one. Sure. A different kind. Very cool. So you're not you're not sponsored by anyone, are you? No. You should be. You should be. No. You should get on that status. <laughs> you should look I at think that. It's just you know I'm comfortable with you, so I'm able to talk to you. Yeah. It's just kind of like on camera, like by myself. I'm just way too shy, so. For my cosplay, I have a cosplay page on Facebook. It's not like you can't reply back to, you know, people on. Do you have your messages open? That's with mine. My messages on are my, open. On my cosplay? Yeah. Yes. I don't know how a cosplay I page do. works. I do, but like, I'm gonna get this straight. Like, sometimes I will get messages, but it won't it notify, won't notify me. you. <laughs> yeah. It won't notify I, me. So then what it does is, yeah. like, you know, you'll go to somebody's page and it says replies. Sometimes within a few minutes, and mine's like replies within like a this month or something, yeah. and I I'm just you. like, but I didn't see that message, or I would have responded right away. I was trying to keep mine says mine said like I think a uh, uh, replies in an hour. Yeah. Because I was really good at replying. Mm -hmm. What you just said, it doesn't notify you. Yeah. Uh, for the people out there that have messaged me on Facebook, I am sorry. It doesn't notify you. It it usually around a convention, that's when I'll start checking, and I it said usually replies within 24 hours, and I'm like, it's not you. There it's goes me. my rating. Yeah, <laughs> it's not even you. It's Facebook. From from today, one of the favorite cosplays that you've seen. Mm. Oh boy, you know that's surprising because since it was Sunday, there weren't a lot. I know. That's why I said from so, from what was here today. I really like that cat woman in there. Yeah. She was nice. She That was good. She looked great. And um geez, you know, it was mostly just photographers. It was mostly just and the dealers and the The yeah. dealers and then just the kind casual of casual like, because everything casuals, was casual cosplays. The casual right? cosplays is mostly Sundays and stuff like that. They'll just throw on some regular clothes and then put on a wig. Which just, is good that you did this because on a Sunday. On a Sunday. This on, was the perfect thing to do. On a Sunday, if you go and do a big cosplay, people will just eat it up. Absolutely. Because nobody else is there. Yep. So they're just like, she's cosplaying. I know what she is. Let me take a picture. <laughs> so even, I guess that's another good tip for like people that are just starting out mm -hmm. and can't, you know, do a Friday or Saturday. Sunday, good place to go. If you want to give it your all, yeah. there you are. Yep. What was I going to say? Because I, I asked her, yeah, when did you start cosplaying? Since I was seven. Nice. Yep. And My question is, first that's it. Cosplay. What was your first cosplay? Raven from the Teen Titans. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait. Come in, come in. Uh, so in the other interview, <laughs> all these that I got that are now hanging around my car you are from her, her shop. So did you want to plug in your shop? Huh? What do you mean plug in? Uh, we're doing a video for my channel. Do you want to like plug in your, your shop? <laughs> you want to? Say your shop's name. Sure. Go, go ahead, because we're recording right now. But it's not even pointed at me. You're in it. You're in it. Oh. Plug Electronics! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> You'll be where is your next convention? MagaCon. Boom. Yeah. Go see her. Awesome stuff. <laughs> Pokemon. <Pardon me. laughs> <laughs> There's that. That's awesome. Anyway, so Raven. Yes. Do you still have it? Because. I don't. I don't. What happened? Um, and are you ever going to do it again? Absolutely. Yes. yes. I have photos because the thing is, is like obviously since I was seven years old and I didn't really have that much of like um, high standards as I do now. Yeah. I had like a Grim Reaper 
like you know on, on Halloween time they have like just one cape and it's like a Grim Reaper cape or something yes. like that yes. so I just kind of had the hood and cut a slit up in it and wore a little leotard and it looked horrible but I was happy I was a happy little girl what she perfect what you just <laughs> said did you see you were in here. I have to show you. You'll see it. Uh, I'll, I'll send you the clip of it yeah. on Facebook. There's this girl that was, I don't know how old she was, mm -hmm. tiny little mermaid. She was precious yesterday. Oh. It, I wish you were here. But yeah, there you go. That's perfect. Yeah. You were happy. You were content. Yes. And it was something that, I mean, it gives you joy, especially it someone does. you don't, you never know who you're going to come across. And that person's just like yep. flawless. Yep. And yeah. you know, I've been going to cons since I was seven, like I said, and I did Raven, and I was just a happy little kid because Raven was my idol. And Who took you? Your dad? My dad. I've been going to conventions with my dad since I was seven. I can't. I want to meet your dad. I can. He is the coolest guy. Yeah. He's so laid back. He's so laid back. He's gonna be at MegaCon with me because really? that's okay. our convention. Good. We go there every single what, year what's he? without fail. What's he? Is he? He wants to cosplay. He really does, and he wants to do Nova Prime from the comics. He, my dad is built. Okay. He's like built. Yeah. And he wants to either do Nova Prime, or um, we've been trying to get him to do Killer Croc from the Suicide Squad. You know. Because <laughs> he's, would he's be so broad. That would, yeah. He's so broad. He's so tall. And but you as Harley. Yes, absolutely. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> But that would be, tell him if he does, I want to get him for my, for my uh, reel, my highlight reel. Mm -hmm. That'd be so great. Oh, yeah. I'm glad that I got to talk to you. Yeah. I'm glad that we were able to fit this in right before I'm about to head back to the house Same. and edit my, <laughs> where do you live? You live close? Um, you I live, live by me. above Orlando. That's, well, really we're, tiny we're, town. We're, we're not going to put that in there just, okay. just in yeah. case. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So like a bleep, just a bleep. I live in, <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go home, gonna edit probably these two videos and then the highlight reel because I want these, I might, I might put them out. At, when should I put these out? Whenever you want to. Should I do it after the highlight reel? I don't know. I'll, I'll play it yeah. by ear. Yeah. I'll play it by ear. But thank you. Whenever thank you, you for it. Let's head back and, um, you, wait, do you want to sign up? What were you doing? <laughs> Did you want to sign us off? What do I say? So, uh, I tell people, instead of subscribing, I tell them to... Subscribe. Yes. Uh, follow, like, share on my Facebook. You don't have to do Instagram, but Facebook okay. and YouTube. Okay. Those are my two main. So Facebook and YouTube, follow, like, and share. Okay. And subscribe. So right. I'll do that. I'll uh, You do that. I'll drive. Follow, yeah. like, yeah. share, awesome. and subscribe. Yes. <laughs> you got it. That was good. High five. And we're gonna. Oh, I'm sorry, your finger's gone. Yeah. And that's when we cut it.